How can structural biology help to fight flu? Meet Luke and his mum, Anna. Two days ago, Luke went to a public event and since this afternoon, he's been feeling very sick. Suffering from high fever, a runny nose, headache and muscle pain. Luke's doctor tells him he's contracted influenza, or flu for short. But what causes this illness? And what can be done to make Luke feel better? Flu is a major infectious disease. Every year, it kills thousands of vulnerable people around the world and affects hundreds of millions more. Flu is caused by what's known as an RNA virus. Entering the body via the respiratory tract, the virus infects the cell by attaching to it via one of its surface proteins, hemagglutinin, and it's then absorbed into the cell. The segmented RNA genome of the virus is released and transported into the cell's nucleus. The virus then uses one of its own enzymes, a polymerase, to copy its genetic material. It hijacks the cell's machinery to synthesize new viral proteins, which assemble with the copied genome into new viruses. One of the virus's surface proteins, neuraminidase, helps to release the budding virions from the cell. Flu viruses can mutate and recombine, creating new strains that are often resistant to available therapeutics. This results in the risk of a resistant, deadly virus which could cause a serious pandemic, highlighting the urgent need for further research into flu and the identification of additional drug targets. Luke's mum, Anna, works in a branch of science that's making significant breakthroughs in understanding flu. Structural biology is used to create an in-depth view of the molecular structure of proteins and nucleic acids. One method of solving these structures is called X-ray crystallography. Single flu virus proteins are too tiny to be analyzed. X-ray crystallography works by studying regularly arranged arrays of these molecules packed together in a protein crystal. This process works in phases. Protein expression, protein purification, crystallization of the protein, and finally, structure determination by X-ray crystallography, where X-rays are fired at the protein crystal and the diffraction patterns are used to determine the protein's molecular structure. This makes use of intense X-ray radiation generated in a huge research facility called a synchrotron. Recently, scientists at EMBL obtained the detailed structure of one of the key flu molecules, the polymerase. This enzyme is needed by the virus to copy its genetic information. Therefore, it's a likely drug target to develop novel anti-influenza therapeutics. Solving the polymerase structure has been a challenging and long drawn out process, but the results were worth waiting for. Anna and the research team at EMBL Grenoble work hard to better understand the flu virus. Thanks to their work, other scientists and pharmaceutical companies can access crucial information to develop new drugs to inhibit the virus in ways that were not possible before. Luke feels better within a few days, but he now understands the challenge that flu poses. He's happy to know that there are so many people working hard to fight it.